Now, I have been concentrating on the spiritual aspect of paganism, and I believe this is very, very important. Um, we also have to create a rapport, a relationship with the gods in our tradition, in our practice. Um, we have to show them respect. Remember that the gods are above us. They do not serve us, we have to serve them. There are too many people out there that play magical god and goddess, where they have this large uh, collection of god names on a list. But we'll use this as an example. And if a situation rises up, they will go through their big database and they will go, well, I need to do a ritual and I'm going to have to use Cubone and Gilgar um, for this situation. Yes, they treat the gods and the goddesses like Pokemon. And that is wrong. To ask for a god or goddesses help. We have to sh first prove ourselves to them. We have to give of ourselves and give of our time before they're going to give us time. How would you feel if somebody was to walk up to you that you never knew and asked you to do them a favor? Um, because nine times out of ten, your guns go, no, what have you done for me? I don't know you. But there are too many pagans out there that feel that way. Um, paganism is a polytheistic um, belief system. Um, we believe in many gods and many goddesses. In Wicca, they believe in a lord and a lady, a symbol for the male aspect, a uh, symbol for the female aspect. But nonetheless, it is at least a god and goddess, but they that's their concept. Um, but then they, they choose one and they say it's just an aspect. All aspects of the same goddess or of the same god. And that I find disrespectful myself because um, I am a, what they call a hard polytheist. I believe that each god and goddess is unique. I believe that they all have their own um, energy, their own personality to them. That they are not just all one. And so I could use um, Kaliadge and Caridwin and it's still the same thing. That I believe is disrespectful. Um, that's basically like going to a room full of women and just go, hey, Lisa, and then go, well, yeah, you too. You know, you know, it doesn't matter. You see, you wouldn't want to be disrespected in that manner. But we have so many people that don't understand that's how they're treating the gods and the goddesses. So what I try to teach is I want you to follow a strict pantheon of gods. Now for me, as I like to say, I am a Celtic Reconstructionist. I try to follow the Celtic gods strictly. Now because the Celtic tribes were very widespread and each tribe had their own um, collection of gods and goddesses, um, some of the same um, goddesses have different names. It depends on what tribe you go to. So you have to isolate. What tribe are you going to try to focus on? So for me, I took on the names of the Scottish and the Gallic um, gods. I ignored the Irish because, um, mostly because you know this stuff was transcribed by Catholic monks. And so I just don't trust it as much. But I believe that you should stay with one pantheon and learn it, respect it. 
Um, I spend the time learning about each of my gods and goddesses that I honor. And I think you need to as well. Um, it's not just one, it's all of them. Don't admit one because it just doesn't feel right to you. You've got to respect them all. Um, see, for like the Greek pantheon, you know, we have a lot of uh, pagans out there that focus on the female aspect and don't give a lot of respect to the male aspect. Um, and they will talk about how wonderful Athena is. Well, Athena was a goddess of knowledge and a goddess of war. And then they'll just completely ignore Ares. Well, there is a relationship, a balance between Ares and Athena. So you need to understand the full picture to understand the balance um, between them and the roles that they play. You see, war can be very barbaric. It can be absolutely cruel. Representation of Ares. War can also be, um, you know, for the right reasons. And there, I know there is no really right reasons for war, but what you're fighting for could be more honorable. Maybe you're trying to defend something. You're trying to defend a city. You're trying to defend people. The reasoning is there. Okay, there is a difference between just total annihilation and defending what you feel is needed. And that is like the relationship between Athena and Ares. So you take the whole pantheon and you learn from it. You learn their idiosyncrasies. Um, you see, there are so many pagans out there, young ladies. That they're, they're going to tell you that they are a a follower of Hecate, a follower of Caridwen. Um, they always seem to pick out the kick-ass female warrior witch type people. They're going to tell you about Wargon, but they can't tell you about Prank. You know, they're not going to tell you about the goddess of love and all that. And so they have not built a relationship with all of the gods and goddesses in their pantheon. They are, they have this tunnel vision. This is it. Now, life, as I've said in other videos, is not simple. It gets muddy. It gets confusing. There are going to be times where you might need Hecate. And there might be times that you need somebody else. And you cannot just call on Hecate to handle all your problems. Okay? Sometimes you need a warrior aspect, a Droste. Uh, somebody, sometimes you need a goddess that is, you know, something about love. Um, do you want Morgan to handle your love problems? No. So we have to take the time and know the gods. We have to, you know, it's not just throwing a statue of that god on your altar. It is spending time researching, learning. Um, sometimes you have to, your libations. Um, Caridwen likes blackberry wine. Well, you better have some blackberry wine on that altar. You better give a little blackberry wine um, back to the earth. This is how you develop a relationship, a rapport. And if you take the time to do that, you will then be able to earn the gods and the goddesses respect. And so when you need them, they may respond. They have to find you worthy. Okay? They're not poking on cards. They're not going to call and says as soon as you need them. Show respect to them. All right? That's something for everybody to think about. So take care. Be at peace.